Lisa. Hey guys, make sure you print this out so you have it in front of you so we can go over it and you can see exactly why. This is gonna not only be fun, but it's gonna be rewarding. Now more so than ever, do we need some positivity? Do we need some momentum? Do we need to get around some people that are thinking positive? Come on, Brian Starr What's up, Joel? What's up, Diane Bosco? Hey, if you're ready to rock, give me some thumbs up right now. Pop some thumbs up, pop some hearts. If you're ready to take this out of this quarantine fast and furious. If you feel the need for speed, give me some thumbs up right now. If you feel the need for speed, give me some thumbs up. Hey, you saw the title. I don't know if you didn't see the title. But, um, success rewards speed. Success rewards speed. We're gonna get started in a couple minutes. Come on, if you're feeling the need for speed, give me some hearts. If you're feeling like you need to get out of this quarantine and you are totally over it, give me some hearts. If you're ready to move on with your life, give me some hearts. <laughs> What's up, Taverner? What's up, Mikey Vick? I hope everyone's doing well today. It's Sunday morning and you're in church right now. The Top Gun, Grow Dojo, Church. <laughs> All right, so make sure everybody, you have your form out. Make sure everyone has their form out right now. We're going to get started. We're going to make things happen. Oh, yeah. All right, James. That is all yours. Thank you so much. All right, well, one, I just want to say thank you so much for showing up today. You know, a lot of this stuff that I do, it's for me. It's like I need to get myself juiced. I need to get myself to have leverage, to have motivation, and to want to be my best. So one easy way to do that is designing something for yourself, but then also give it to other people. You're going to be able to do the same thing with this when we get to the wingman or wing girl section of it. But I'm super excited about this. You know, we're all going through a tough time right now. I don't care who you are on this planet. You are going through a tough time in one way or another. I'm definitely going through it. You're going through it. But however, there's light at the end of the tunnel always. You know, things always work its way out. You've seen it in history over and over and over again. And you've been through some things in your life. What's up, Sammy? Thanks for that, buddy. And you've been through some challenges in the past in your life, and you got through it. So, you know, the best don't need to be told what to do, but we need reminders. You know, you guys all are amazing. You know, you guys all have a great life, but sometimes we just need that little bit of a reminder like, hey, you know what? This is going to get passed. You know what? You need that little kick in the butt to say, stop playing the victim role. Let's step up now. Let's be a role model, not only for yourself, but for your family, for your loved ones, for your team, for your business. So this is huge. This is very important that you guys are here today, and I'm super excited and honored that you guys are spending your quality time this morning at home with Coach Mark the Spark, the Growth Dojo, and the Top Gun Challenge. So make sure you guys have your form out right now. So what I want to do is I want to go through this. Man, I want to take off. You know, right now, I've been slowly, slowly starting to move up. And at the end of this, what's going to be, you're going to have a runway, and then you're going to have your jet, right? And the runway is where everyone else is. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but there are people that have the stinking thinking. They're not thinking big. They're not thinking that this is going to get better, but you're different. So the runway is flat. And my whole purpose with this Top Gun fun theme is to build some leverage to help you take off right now and little by little as we start to come out of this quarantine what's going to happen is there's going to be this gap in between your jet and the runway and that gap is called the growth gap so my goal is to help you guys grow through this process not just grow through this crisis so at the end when we listen we're all going to come out of this right the time is going to come may 15th june the when it is it's going to end and when it ends, you could be flying high, bursting with all this growth and taking advantage of your success, or you're gonna be on the runway still. And you're gonna be waiting for everyone else to give you the okay to take off. You're gonna be waiting for the news to tell you that it's safe now. But success rewards speed. So when this is all over with, and as we go through the challenges and the changes, the best thing you can do is learn to pivot and take off. Pivot, take off. See, I don't think about what's gonna happen next week. I don't think about, they said May 15th, because when you expect that, you have this timeline in your head, and when it doesn't work out, like it didn't work out the first couple times that they said this would be all over with, you get very disappointed. So every day when I wake up, I'm like, what is happening today? 
what is allowed today, and how can I use that to my advantage? How can I take the adversity, pivot, boom, and hit that speed and take off? Because that's what this is all about. And the challenge, if you notice at the top, it says, I feel the need, come on now, give me that high five, for speed. So when this is over, it's not gonna be the big, the big fish eating the little fish, it's gonna be the fast fish catching this, this slow fish. So I want you to be a fast fish. I want you to be able to take the news on and whatever they say and then boom, hit that pivot, react to it, create, and then move forward. So that's what successful people do and that's what you guys do and that's why you're here today and I appreciate that. What's up, Paula? How can I use today to my advantage? I'll tell you how you can use your today advantage. Watch this video and print this out, Paula. All right, so here we go. I feel the need for speed and it's quoted that because like I said, success loves speed. Success rewards speed. We don't have no more time to think about it. We've been sitting around, let's now take off. Let's get the pilots going, let's shoot the fire out of the back of the jet and let's get after it. So first things first, you're gonna notice on the goal sheet that it says top gun goal. Top gun goal. So what we're gonna do about throughout this quick little video is we're gonna go over some of the quotes in the top gun movie and how it applies to your life and how by using it and putting it on the sheet, how it's gonna benefit you and help you take off the lift off. So here we go, Top Gun Goal. In the movie, um, they say a good pilot always evaluates what happens, sees what's wrong and fixes it. A good pilot always evaluates, evaluates what happens, see what's wrong and then they fix it. So every day when you wake up, right now going through this pandemic, through this crisis, you need to evaluate. You gotta be a good pilot. And that comes back to being aware. If you ever read the book, John Maxwell, um, the, the 11 Futable Laws of Growth, or 12, I forget which number it is. However, it's called the, 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 the Laws of Growth. And the very first chapter, he talks about awareness. And awareness is key when it comes to you guys succeeding in your life. So what does that awareness mean? What's gonna be your top gun goal? Your top gun goal is gonna be, hey, what area of your life that you feel right now needs the most improvement? Is it your health? Is it your relationships? Is it your positive mental attitude? Is it your income? Is it your career? Um, is it a hobby? Is it something that's gonna really just, hey, get your morale up? So you need to be self-aware on what's important in your life right now. Now, we can't do everything. You know, in the book, The One Thing, the, the author talks about if you chase two rabbits, you don't catch either one. So let's think of one goal, and these sheets are gonna be made for each week. So next week, you can totally change it. Hey, tomorrow you can change your goal. Just print out another one, because right now, things are happening, and they're happening fast, and they're happening last minute. And the best thing you can do is just sit. When you feel the action that happens, react to it, be aware, fix it, see what's wrong, and then get after it. So right now, on the top of the sheet, if you can, what area of your life needs work? Because guess what, when you bring that one area, everything else gets better. It's like the circus, right? You see the guy at the circus, he's spinning the plates on the, on the, on the, uh, on the wood stick, he's spinning, he's spinning. Which one does he go to next? He doesn't go to the, to the, to the dish that is spinning, spinning fast, he goes to the plate that is starting to spin slow. And he runs over to that one and he starts spinning it. And then he looks around, which one else is starting to go slow? So right now, you need to do that in your life right now. Which plate is starting to spin slow? Is it the negativity in your household? Is it the stress? Is it work? Is it your relationships? Is it you feeling good and vibrant and your joy needing to get that back? So on the top, I feel the need for speed. What area right now, if you just were like, you know what, I'm all in on it. I'm gonna kick some butt. I'm gonna put all my focus on it and I'm gonna put all my rocket fuel on it and I'm gonna get it. So what area is that for you? Now, once you decide to make that connection, the next thing I want you to, uh, to focus on is the, um, the uh, let's go with, all right, cool, let's go with this. If you notice the sheet, on the sheet, I'll show you this really quick. Guy, you want to go through? Right now, right now, when when Jamie wants to, when Jamie wants to walk the dog, she starts to run away from her because she doesn't want the harness on her. So she's hiding behind me, knowing that she, knowing that Jamie can't come into the camera. Oh, baby girl, say hi to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is a bad little girl right now. Wow. There we go. Put her in there. 
See, success loves speed. You never know what's going to happen. You got to react and you got to go for it. All right, so looking at the sheet, you're going to notice it says right here, gratitude. That's your runway. Once you figure out what your goal is, every day you're going to have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You're going to look at the sheet and on the runway, what you're going to write is what you're grateful for. They did a study. Yeah, a study that has proven science that you are 30% more happy if you write down every day five things that you're grateful for. So what that tells you is this. When you wake up in the morning, you're going to be 30% happier if you write down three to five things on the runway. And I put the runway there because here's you. You're the jet. And this is the mindset behind it. You're the jet. And right away, every morning when you wake up, instead of going to the news and seeing what's wrong, I want you to write down what you're grateful for, what's going right. And when you start to write those things down, what's going to happen? You're going to get momentum. You're going to be like, oh, man, my life is great. I have this, this, and this. I'm super grateful. And now that you have the mindset that you have abundance, guess what? Now you have a positive mindset to want to move forward on your life in a positive direction. So gratitude, gratitude, attitude of gratitude if you want to be 30% happier. <laughs> I'm grateful too, Kristen, that uh, Top Gun is one of your favorite movies. If Top Gun is one of your favorite movies, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And if you already know your goal right now, give me a thumbs up and write it in the bottom. If you know the one thing that you're going to attack right now, give me a thumbs up, write it in the bottom. So this way you can get everybody else excited. And your, your goal sometimes gives other people an idea of what to think about as well. So next, once you figure out what your gratitude is, if you notice, it goes to the goal. And now I'm, I mean, I'm like a kid. And think about kids. Kids are always happy, right? And kids, I learned this actually two things. One I learned yesterday from Rachel Hollis. Kids are always happy. Why? Because they're always looking for what's next? What's going to make me happy right now? What's exciting in my life? And as adults, we stop looking for the things that make us happy because we start to get smacked around and the real world, real world kicks in. And now we're looking for what's wrong. So being a kid, it's all about what excites you. What movie excites you? What songs excite you? How can you design your goals in a way that excites you? So I put missiles on that bad boy. And another thing that they talked about with Rachel Hollis yesterday on her conference, she said that kids are always happy because... They love uncertainty, right? They love surprises. They love waking up. Hey, what are we going to do today? Us as adults, we don't like the uncertainty because that, that means we don't know how it's going to end up. And right now we are in uncertainty more than ever. So if you can learn to love the uncertainty, guess what? You're going to be happy. So be excited about the missiles, about the pilot. Get fired up about being a kid again and getting after it. So what I want you to, here's a quote, 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 quote. From the movie, Top Gun, let's see if you can finish it for me. Don't write a check, what? Don't write a check, finish the line for me. Don't write a check, Maverick, don't write a check that your body can't cash. In the movie, the, 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 the guy who's higher ranked than Tom, Tom, uh, Tom, um, Tom Cruise is, he says, hey listen, don't write a check that your body can't cash. He's flying around that multi-million dollar plane and he's fooling around with it. What I need you to do right now is develop confidence. In your goals right here, every day, I want you to think about small missiles. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, Kristen. I want you to think about small missiles. What are three things that you can do every day that'll help get your top gun goal at the top, either for the week or for the month or for the day? Because you can do this several ways. You can print out one every day, Put a goal at the top. This is my main mission for the day. Here are my three small goals. Or print this out weekly. Have one goal for the whole week. Here are my three small goals every day that I'm going to get after it. Or do it for the month. So it's totally up to you. But the missiles. Don't write a check your body can't cash. Don't write a check your confidence can't cash. Don't pick a goal you can't achieve. So right now, if you're kind of stuck and your plane's just putting, you're starting to get the momentum because you're grateful, hey, you will take off a lot easier when you pick something small that you can achieve. So if your goal right now is to get your energy back up, don't say you're going to start eating greens, you're going to start drinking water, you're going to get a nutrition plan, you're going to go on uh, my fitness app, you're going to hire a trainer. You know it never happens and it never follows through because it's too much. 
So pick a small goal. I'm gonna drink water, half my body weight in ounces every day. Hey, you know what? Right now, finances are not good. Obviously, I can't just fall upon a million dollars right away, but what are some bills that I can cut out? What are some things that I'm spending on right now? I can save me some money. I'll tell you where I'm saving some money. Starbucks. Man, I miss that place. <laughs> I get like one Starbucks a day now uh, versus five to six. So I never drank them all. I just, I just uh, love sitting in there and having the cup of coffee with me. So that's one way. So think about small goals because now you have the gratitude. You have your mission, you're fired up about it, and your gratitude builds momentum, and now you have your missiles. Now, at the end, if you notice, every sport you play, you play, why? It's fun, why? It's exciting, why? It's competitive, why? It juices you, why? Because there's a scoreboard, there's targets, there's missions. So, bowling, there's pins, football, there's an end zone, oh man, here we go. Here we go. Here I go with my sports. Baseball, there's home runs, there's bases, right? There's targets, and that's what makes it exciting. So every day, you're going to achieve your goals. If you only achieve one goal, one missile, you circle the outside. Now, what's the goal on a target? You want to hit bullseye, right? Military, they have missions, right? Um, uh that's the only thing I can think of right now. They have missions and missions excite them. Mission juices them. That's what gets them ready. That's what they've been preparing for. So you're on a mission, but you need that target. What's our target to keep you excited? So if you're able to get all three, you get to dial in and color the whole target in. You got bullseye. And whenever you see that kind of target, that's what you want to do. You want to be able to hit bullseye. So recap. You got your top gun goal that you're excited about. You're ready to get fast and furious on it. Two, every day you're gonna be writing down what you're grateful for. Get the momentum going. And now three, what are the three missiles, the three action steps that your confidence can cash that are gonna help you achieve your main goal at the top? Next up. Let me see, let me see, let me see. All right, cool, coming to the end now. If you notice the top right on the, on, the, on the sheet, it says wingman and wing girl. This is something new. We always do a lot of our sheets and a lot of them are somewhat similar, just with a different mindset to keep you uh, inspired and pump you up. But this one's brand new and I like this. What, who's gonna be your wingman and wing girl throughout this orb? So in the quote in the movie, Actually, no, this is, from, this is from the Top Gun, the original Top Gun team school in 1969. They came up with some new sets of rules to help the pilots uh, to be more successful up in, the, up in the sky. So he said, rule number one of the rules is we fight in pairs. And one of the game plans was one plane would be the target while the other one would loop up and circle around and become the shooter and shoot the bad guy that was behind this target that was set up. So if you ever watch Maverick or Top Gun, your wingman is super important. What happens? You never, ever, ever, ever leave your wingman. And it finally wasn't until the end of the movie, Maverick was successful. The whole movie, he was out of control until finally he became that true wingman and he supported someone else. Hey, a lot of times we'll always do something for someone else first than ourselves. It kind of gives us that hero morale and hero energy. Um, so throughout this, you can plan on it each week or just have one single wingman, one girl throughout the whole time. But the goal is this. You're going to pick your wingman, wing girl and put it up in there. Your responsibility either every day if you're printing this out or every week, you have to text them and call them with something positive. Uh, a quote or a win, that's your job because it's the morale. You got to keep the morale up. You are there for your wingman. You're not there to bitch and moan. You're there to support them. You're there to give them good feedback. So if you can, if you're not one of those people, it's like, man, it's like, I don't know what to say to my person. Share your results because if you share your results with me, I get excited. I'm like, man, if you're doing it, that means I can do it. Or it's going to force you to every day Look up some cool quotes. Man, I gotta respond to my wingman today. I gotta send something to my wing girl. So that's gonna force you to step up and learn some new things about self-development because that's what this is all about. And let me tell you something. Right now, we need each other more than ever, right? 
It's that, it's that social distance. We don't get to be around a lot of people anymore. So as we start to come out of this, you're getting stronger and stronger with your team, right? With your co-pilots or with your wingman, with your wing girl. Because guys, this is gonna come to an end, right? It definitely will be. And our goal is to shoot out of this and it's always better together. And we're gonna have some weekly meetups. Um, all right, oh, wait, the last thing, you guys are gonna love this. Hey, the word maverick. The word maverick, if you look up the word maverick in the uh, dictionary, it actually means to be unorthodox and to be single-minded, like to be on your own path. And guess what? Right now, this uncertainty time, it's time to be unorthodox. It's time to do something crazy. It's time to do something that you've never done. It's time to do something that, hey, you know what? I'm gonna think outside the box. This is my time. You gotta be a maverick right now. You have to be the maverick of your life. Because with all this uncertainty, it's time to flip yourself upside down and go invert it, right? In the movie, it's time to go invert it, baby, and start thinking of some new ways to level up your life. Because guess what? The norm is not going to be normal anymore. And if you can, the whole reason and message behind the Top Gun is the success loves speed. I feel the need for speed is that the new norm is going to take some adjustment to. But the faster you can adapt, the faster you can step into it, the faster you can level up, the more comfortable it's gonna be for you. And that's kind of the mindset throughout this whole thing. So Maverick, when I think of Maverick, I think of myself, it's like, yeah, I'm doing some things I never did before. At the top, you're gonna to see the fighter pilot mask and it's, and it's empty and you're gonna see a line right here. Look, see that line? That line's gonna go right through it. And on that line, you're gonna write who you are for the week. Who are you, who you are for the day? Are you gonna be a maverick today? Are you gonna be unstoppable? What's your empowering word? I was doing an interview the other day and a guy told me that, uh, he's like, man, every time I watch your videos, Mark, it's like, you're like the Tony Robbins of martial arts. And when he said that, I was like, oh, my mind blew up. It was such a cool compliment and it inspired me. Beyonce, she was a church girl, right? She sang in church. She was amazing and her dad wanted her to start singing on the radio, but obviously to be on the radio, you had to be a little bit more risque and a little bit more, um, you know what it is, to be more mainstream, you gotta be a little bit more fresh. So when she got on stage, she had a hard time separating Beyonce the church girl and then Beyonce the performer. So when she stepped on stage, she told Oprah Winfrey, I become Sasha Fierce. She becomes someone totally different. Right now, who do you need to be? I'm not saying be somebody else and do it the way they do it, but you can be inspired by someone else or think of an empowering word. What's going to be your call sign? In the, in, in, in the Air Force, they have Goose, Maverick, you got Jester. Who else? You got Viper, right? They all have a call sign and it's pretty inspiring. So what's going to be your call sign throughout the day? What's going to be your call sign throughout the week? So when you figure out that call sign, make it inspiring. Write it up on your helmet and use it on yourself. I'm unstoppable today. Right now, I'm Maverick. I am Maverick going through it. And every time I think about it, it excites me. What you got? Sundown, I like that. Sassy, nice. But give me your call sign if you got one or if you got a couple that you're thinking of. <laughs> I like Sundown. We got Sassy. I love it, I love it, I love it. Who else we got? Sasha Fierce. <laughs> You guys are awesome. All right, so a couple things. Wrapping up, this week is kind of like the launch of this. So I'm gonna be explaining this throughout the rest of the week. You can start now, print it out, get on it, review this video again, share it with somebody. If you can, guys, that would, that would be the biggest favor for me is share this with other people. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely love helping and giving. It's something, it's been inside me my whole life. So I love doing this and the more we can share it and, and uh, have fun with it, the more exciting it's gonna be to inspire more people. Because I look at it this way. John Maxwell said it before this all kind of started in the very beginning. He said, he's like, man, he's like, I was born for a crisis. And I said to Jamie, I was like, guess what, Jamie? I was born for a crisis. I love uncertainty. I love last minute. Doesn't work out in my favor all the time, <laughs> but I love pressure. And that's just kind of who I am. So when I said that, I was like, man, I love a crisis and I love showing the world and being the hero of my own journey. So I love this whole thing that's going on. Don't get me wrong. I don't love it in a way like, man, it's just like, keep bringing on all this stress 
uncertainty and fears and doubts and the negativity that's going on in the world and the sicknesses. I don't mean it that way, but it juices me to know that my back is up against the wall because all of us can be the hero of our journey. Right now, your life could be a movie. And I, on the conference yesterday, the guy on StoryBrand talked about there's four key roles in a movie. There's the villain, there's the victim, there's the hero, and there's the guide. The victim, think about every movie. You never remember the victim. They're just a prop. They're there just to kind of give something hard to and you see them crumble. There's the villain. The villain doesn't have any friends. He thinks negative. He wants to ruin everything. And then you got the hero. The hero is somebody that steps up. Right? The hero you remember. The hero, they make another movie. Part one, part two, part three, part four. And then the hero turns into the best one, which is the guide. So you leveling up helps the people around you. You get to be that role model for success. So I'm excited about this journey. I'm excited to be the hero. I'm excited to be the guide. Because when you think of those, those character traits in all the movies, that gets you excited. So a couple of things. One, I'm going to do the kid version next at 1030. So if you could tell your kids, have them pop on. I'm going to shut this down and come back up and have them watch it. It'll be kid friendly. I'll go over it because it's kind of cool for them, obviously, with all the missiles and the runways and the planes and the things on that. And then at 11, I'm going to be doing an age appropriate for teenagers as well. Um, also, stay tuned. Either tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to have your fighter pilot food plan because right now energy is important. So you're gonna have a whole display specifically for age groups. Some things for your kids, some things for your teens, and a lot of good stuff for you. And then also I'm gonna be putting up what's called the, the F14 Falcon Fitness Test. So I'm gonna give you guys a fitness challenge that you can work on throughout the week to really level up your conditioning. So this way you have the stamina to overcome the obstacles and the challenge that will come your way as you try to stick, take off. Because think about a plane and a bird. They soar and they go higher and they lift off going what? Against the wind. You need the obstacles. You need the challenges because that's what helps you lift off. And always remember, wind can do one of two things to one of two people. It could blow out a candle or it could fuel fire. You got to pick to which one you are. Are you a fire or are you a candle? It's time to fuel yourself. It's time to take off. I feel the need. Uh, I feel the need for speed. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining in on my motivation, my music, and my movies. It's time to step into the danger zone. You guys rock.